So I'm <clears throat> back at it again and with a very old model kit. And it is the GPO1 Xanthorantes. I'm assuming I pronounced these Xanthorantes right, but <clears throat> the GPO1 from uh, Stardust Memory. And sorry for my lighting. And first of all, let's take. Let's look at the aesthetics. Uh, I did paint a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So, here are the eyes. The, um, face. The face, uh, broke on mine. And the chin. I accidentally cut the, uh, chin. So, I had to super glue it and super glue that. And I broke the antenna. So, I had to super glue the antenna also. <clears throat> and... The neck, ooh, it's just basically a um, neck just being covered from another piece of neck. <clears throat> and things I painted is the camera in the back also, right here, and the felt. <clears throat> Let me just take off all the accessories. And the the stripes because the it has stickers, but it is way too big, so I had to paint it. And yeah, <clears throat> uh, the stickers right there. And I did use the stickers, and it is not that good. <clears throat> and I did stickers right around here if you don't see. And the V fin also. Of course, this is a Federation suit. Yeah, for and yeah, painted the uh, yellow right here, kind of bad. But for um, articulation, it's a two thousand uh, two thousand mo mo uh, model kit. There we go. So very outdated. <clears throat> so the head can go up this far, down this far, but it went way down because I the. Uh, the face was a little bit up more, but I just put it down. I super glued it down because I want to see the eyes. Side to side. And I can 360. Not. Yep. 360. The arms. Um, the arm is on a. The peg is sticking all on out of the arms. Unlike the uh, 2000s kit that it's just the peg just sticking out of the body. So it can go side Side to side, you can go up this far, uh, twist, swivel, and go, go, can go 360. Um, only a single joint that, uh, that goes 50 degrees, I'm assuming. Not more than 90. But, um, and the hand is on a bowl joint. Body. Uh, cannot go 360 because the backpack is um, in the way. Go up and down. And it is very loose on the waist. Um, the side, the skirts, it, it does not have a bolt joint in between. It is just a single line. So I cannot modify that. <clears throat> um, side... The side skirts can swivel, can swivel you know, up and down. Uh, for the legs, up this far, pretty decent, and down this far, also pretty decent because the back skirt is pretty short. So spread, not that much because it is pretty good. Um, for, because this is on a bowl joint, this can only has a single joint. Or double joint right here and right here does not co go um, very far. Can pivot up this far, down this far, and it's on a bowl joint, so it can 360. So for accessories, of course, um, he comes with his boot rifle that is very loose. And I had to paint the scope right here in red. 
you don't see correctly to paint that in red and I had to super glue the handle right here because it is coming out way too loose how you plug it is just you can just slide it in here right here but I use it super glue I use super glue so well, and before it falls off he has another um weapon it is the bubble machine gun like the pal rider uses and how you plug in here is just pop off this here the trigger finger and just it is a pain the butt to plug this in but you know <clears throat> oh my god just just go through it <clears throat> he comes with the um, grabbing hands or closed fists I guess with both of them he comes with the shield that has a handle and a plug to for the shield and you can use it both in the uh, arms and you and you just plug that in and for what I did is just put the handle in the he hand and just plug it in so it could be a lot more firm and stickers right here for the um, shield and he comes with a court fighter <clears throat> which is literally in the body and it is not yellow in here does not have a cockpit and you do have to paint some of it like the white right the yellow right here in the chest the this yellow for the backpack and it has landing gears but I um, <clears throat> I made one uh, fell and don't know where is the piece and if and this and it only has this being pick which I do not like and unfortunately the GPO1's uh, beam saber is cannot, does not have a hole so it's unfortunate but I did use some spare um parts that I have and created my own GP1 beam saber, which I use the <clears throat> NG grade um, Gundam Gundam's uh, beam saber hilt and just cut off the um, cut off the the wide hilt and just ignore that and just plug in like every beam saber. And he can hold both of the beam saber, luckily. <clears throat> and here is this beam stick. Get all over my face. And for size comparison, here is the um robot Damashi. Gym custom, very anime. I do not have the Robot Dama Shiver anime of the GPO one or Xanthorantis. And it is very loose, but hey, still works. And here are some uh, high grades that I reviewed. The P Bandai Issue C Pell Rider Heavy Ground Type and the Issue C Gundam Mark II. And here are the other rest of my uh, mobile suits or my high grade. And I'm going. I'm currently going to build the a face on Gundam. Uh, issue C Char <coughs> and uh, um, the RX 72. Issue C IBO um, Grammary Vidar. You can see in the back. Uh, issue C Dub not HG Double uh, Virtue Gundam, Gundam Virtue and Gundam Kyrios. And the huge. And most of that I really want to have Bandai to make a high grade of the high, the Master Grade Eclipse Gundam. So would I recommend this uh, model kit? Well, <clears throat> I guess is it good? No. Is it bad? Also no. Is it decent? Yes. It is quite decent for its time. At least it's better than the issue. See Tristan. 
which I do not have it, but, oh my god, the articulation is so bad, though, but, um, yeah, I guess it's quite decent for a HUC uh, figure for its time now. It's okay to be at least. It does not have a lot of stickers that it, it that is supposed to be necessary for him or for her or for it. But if you're going to if you're going to uh if you want the RG, I guess you should get the RG because you know but if you just want a basic model kit, or like if you want a cheap one, which I got the um, cheaper one for thirteen bucks, uh, I guess you should get it. If if you like the GP one, the design, if it's cheap for you, so yeah. Overall, uh, thanks for watching.